Okay, so let's learn how to actually turn in an assignment into an assignment Dropbox in order for it to be graded. Um, if I go into the assignments section, I can see there are a bunch of different assignment drop boxes that I can add to. There are a couple things I want you to note. This is a test class, so it doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of like we have just a regular like test item here. So just be aware of that. And also as you look through these, anything that's blue that you can click on is still active. But as you can see, this timeline project was closed. So just be aware that if you have a deadline for an assignment, um, they have actual automatic locks on these assignments. So when an instructor tells you it's due at this time on this day, don't try, you won't even be able to turn something into that Dropbox if it's after that point in time. So just be really aware of that. Also, um, sometimes a lot of instructors say it's all due on Sunday at 11.59 p.m., which is great for consistency, but you know what happens? Every Sunday at 11.50 p.m., all kinds of students are up in D2L trying to upload all their assignments, and it's going to cause delays and problems, and then you will miss the deadline because it'll be kind of lagging. So just be really aware of that, and I highly recommend that you try to turn stuff in at least a day before your actual deadline. All right, so I have an assignment here called Persuasive Paper. You can see that it's worth 50 points, and I haven't submitted anything for this yet. This one doesn't show a due date, but if it did, it would sit right here. So over here, I have the persuasive paper. It's a Word document, and I want to be able to upload this. So what I do is click on the assignment Dropbox, and I'm going to come over here and click on the Add a File button. So it's going to say, where do you want to add this file from? You just want to pay attention to my computer because it should be on your computer or like a flash drive or external drive that is attached to your computer. If you have it saved like on Google Docs or something, you're going to have to save it out of there or export it as a PDF or a Word document and put it on your flash drive or your computer in order to upload it here. So I'm going to click on my computer and I can choose to upload it and then find that file on my desktop or my flash drive or wherever I've saved it. Or you can also drop your files here. So that's why I put it over here so you could see that if I just drag it over, it's going to load it. And if you see a little loading bar down here, don't click add or back or anything until that loading bar ends up looking like, like this because this is showing you that it's actually uploaded. So if you wanted to cancel that, if this was the wrong thing, then hit the X. Now, one piece of advice I always give my students is always to name your paper or whatever assignment you're trying to submit with a unique name. I always say, always put like your last name or your first name um, and then definitely words that describe what that assignment is. You don't just want to put paper or persuasive paper because all your classmates are going to also be naming it persuasive paper. So at least adding your last name makes it a little bit more unique. And then if you wanted to make it even more unique, instead of saying persuasive paper, you'd say what the persuasive paper was about. So we'll go ahead and click add. And it's going to put that into the assignment submission folder, but we're not done. We're not done until we actually hit submit. I also recommend to my students that you put comments here. And these are anything that you want to tell me as the instructor that would help me assess this better. If you're really struggling with something or um, if you weren't sure about this or if you had further questions on that, then I would put all that stuff in here because that really helps your instructor to see where your head was at and what they can be helping you with. And especially if, you know, let's say um, one time I had a paper where it was a persuasive paper and I just didn't believe in the topic. And so I felt like I couldn't write it. And so I put that in my comment as, as the reason why and this is why I changed my paper topic. And so my instructor really appreciated that. But if you don't say anything, then they're just going to go with the assumption that you weren't following the directions and that could cause problems down the road. So just a word of advice, always be a self-advocate and put a comment in here saying anything that you need to talk to them about in regards to this assignment. Okay, so once it's loaded, you can go ahead and hit submit. And when it does this, it's going to submit the document. It's going to give you a submission ID and submission date. It's going to show you what you've submitted. And it should also send you an email up here in D2L confirming that you have submitted that assignment. Keep that confirmation email because if something goes wrong and the instructor doesn't get it, then that email is your proof that you actually did turn that in. 
All right, so if you needed to upload more for it, files, you could click here, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit done and show you what this looks like. So now you can see for the persuasive paper that I have done one submission with one file, hasn't been graded yet, I don't have any feedback from my instructor. I can actually click on this link right here to see what I have submitted and when I submitted it. So if I made a mistake right here, then I know I need to go back and, and submit a file another time.